Lesson one: Phrasal verbs for romantic relationships. Let's learn the phrasal verbs from the dialogue. First, Emily says it looked like the guy was hitting on Sarah. To hit on someone is to say or do things that demonstrate romantic or sexual interest in that person. It's usually a combination of comments and gestures. As well as the way you look at the other person. Another way to say this is that the guy was flirting with Sarah. Sarah says the guy asked her out. To ask someone out is to invite the person to go on a date, a romantic encounter. We often say asked her out for, and then the activity. For example. He asked her out for lunch. He asked her out for dinner. He asked her out for coffee. He asked her out for drinks. He asked her out for a movie. Sarah then says she's not sure if she likes the guy, and she doesn't want to lead him on. This means to provide false hope or expectation to the other person. So. If she pretended to be romantically interested, even though she really wasn't, this would be leading him on. Emily then says that she and her last boyfriend didn't hit it off right away. This means they didn't have a special connection immediately. If you hit it off with someone. It means you like each other and you have great social connection from the first moment you meet. However, with time, she began to fall for him. The phrasal verb "fall for" means fall in love with. Sarah then asks why Emily and her last boyfriend split up. This means to separate, to end the romantic relationship. You can say "split up" or "break up," and "break up" as one word can be used as a noun. Emily says that the break up was because she and her boyfriend drifted apart. This means they slowly started to go in different directions over time. Sarah's last relationship was a nightmare, which means it was really terrible. It started when she hooked up with someone at a party. The phrasal verb "hook up with someone" can be used as a slang expression, meaning to have sex with that person, especially someone you just met or someone you only stay with for one night. However, in Sarah's case, she stayed with the boyfriend for six months. When they were constantly fighting and making up, making up means reconciling and restoring peace in the relationship after a fight. It was a difficult relationship, and Sarah says she doesn't know how she put up with him for so long. The phrasal verb "put up with someone" means to tolerate a difficult, annoying, or unpleasant person. The relationship ended when the boyfriend cheated on Sarah. That means he was kissing or having sex with another woman. Sarah discovered him making out with his ex-girlfriend. Making out with means he was kissing her very passionately. The boyfriend wanted another chance with Sarah. But Sarah knew he was trying to jerk her around. That means to manipulate her or use her for his own advantage. So she broke up with him. She ended the relationship. Sarah asks Emily if Emily is going out with anyone at the moment. The phrasal verb "go out with" can mean to go out on a date with someone once. Or it can mean to be in a relationship for an extended period of time. In this second case, we usually use it in the present continuous, 
So Sarah is asking if Emily is currently in a relationship. Emily says she isn't in a serious relationship because she's not interested in settling down yet. In this context, settle down means to be in a long-term stable relationship. For example, getting married, having kids, and living a typical family life. You've now learned 16 phrasal verbs about romantic relationships. But wait, it's time for the most important part, which is to practice what you've learned. Scroll down to the bottom of this lesson and take the quiz to test how well you remember the phrasal verbs. Then do the writing exercise, where you can practice using the phrasal verbs in your own sentences. If you're already registered for the course, you'll get the next lesson tomorrow. If you're not yet registered, you can click the blue button under the video to join the course and get 29 more lessons on phrasal verbs in conversation. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.